How you missed me? I missed you, yeah. Well, I, I just did it, I don't want to miss you. say the same thing about you. I had people coming and going all these days. Now tell me, how come you have so many people? What is, what is this? Uh, how come? Game you, you brought so, uh, I want to introduce to you guys Team Imri. Yeah! Thank you vocals, Alon Shah. Thank you vocals, Ido Gevash. My head of delegation, you are Kinai. Yes. And my head of press, Kinai Daza. Well, yeah, you can tell you're celebrating diversity, huh? Yeah. No women. <laughs> no, we have. Am I correct? No, no, it's okay. It's your vision. Women are not allowed. Right? So, uh, the first question as usual is how's your, how's your second anniversary? Did you love it? It was awesome, no? Yeah. It was good. I, 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 I'm, I'm so happy. I mean, we, we wanted to bring the party to Europe and we did and it was amazing. I'm, I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay, how's your uh, uh, last couple of days in Kiev? Did you party? As, uh, as hard as it gets? They party. Yeah. Okay, what well, about you? I, I, went, I, I just I rest a little bit because I need to concentrate. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> this is your vision. It's right. supposed to party all night. I, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I partied, I partied enough uh, for the past two years. Now I need to I need to work. No, no, you... you no, 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 I'm not like party. the source of a party. I'm, I'm going to party tomorrow. Tomorrow is the red carpet. Yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, quickly go for the questions from the floor. We have gentlemen from Israel. Hey, us, man. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Ahmed Anoum from Adora. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, first, uh, I want to say congratulations and tell how proud we are of you, uh, everyone who have met you before, uh, and that's the point of my question. Uh, how does it feel making a dream come true? Wow, uh, it feels like I'm, I'm the king of the world, actually, because not, not a lot of people had the chance to do it. And now I have another dream, is to win Eurovision, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best and uh, hopefully, it's up to Europe, it's up to you guys, so hopefully we'll be, we will be good. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy, I'm so, I'm, I feel amazing. Yeah. Okay, we have the most emotional <laughs> journalist in the world. Yeah, shalom, Israel. Hello, shalom, my family, my Azerbaijan. I want a question. You have uh, been two time back uh, grander uh, of uh, Israeli representatives, but now you represent Israel. Uh, what the difference between them? Um, first of all, the the. Like like Anton said, I've made my dream come true, and uh, I'm on the front of the stage. The responsible is on my shoulders. I'm not supporting anyone. Uh, I'm being supported by these gentlemen, and it it feels it, it's different. Of course, it's different. I feel totally different, and it, it feels amazing. But you know, it's it kind of similar because I feel like uh, I came back home because it was it been my home for the past three years, so it feels good. So that. Okay, cool. Let's uh, go with the gentleman in the white, the uh, Eurovision t shirt from uh, <laughs> the first row. Yes. Hello, this is uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. You have been uh, in the team of uh, Rami Kleinstein, who also was once involved in Eurovision. How was it for you to work with uh, Rami Kleinstein? Uh, so you bring me back five years ago uh, that I participated in the Voice of Israel. Uh, it was for a short time, uh, unfortunately and not unfortunately, because it made me it made me do something even bigger. And when when I when I did it and I heard that Rami Kleinstein is going to be the, the the mentor, the, the judge, I I said um, immediately that he's, he's the one I want to work with him because he was my favorite artist in in, in Israel. So when he turned around during my, my audition, I felt like, wow, this, that, I, did, I did everything. And to work with him was a great experience. And unfortunately, it was for a short time, but 
Yeah, I, I'm glad I have it. I had it. Okay, let's uh, take a question from the lady first row. Hi, I am Ilana from Belarus, newspaper Gorinskiri Adamasti. Ingrid, tell me please, have you got any talismans or charming good luck charms which help you in your life and in your musical career? You mean from uh, from other Eurovision participants, or yeah, she's saying talisman? It's like a small symbol that you can carry around. Ah, a small symbol. Sorry. All right. Um, actually, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, I I believe that I, I believe to, to do it in a, with a good team and that that carry me on and and that, that they are so so good friends of mine and I don't need any any symbols or stuff. So. Sorry. Okay, yes. Please let's have a question from the gentleman. Hi, Emery, okay. from easytoday.com. Well, you had three runs uh, of your song now in the rehearsal, and they were pretty, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, varied and not so stable from uh, run to run. Many fans and people at home are concerned. Please tell us how are you going to make sure that during the upcoming rehearsals and the, the live show, everything is going to go well as it should be. You know, I feel I feel good. I don't know uh, what people heard uh, during the in the social media, but uh, I feel good. My team feel good, and we will we will continue to do our best, and hopefully that they will change their mind. You know. from Israel. Hi, we already met. Hey. Hey, hey Mazal Tov. Um, I wanted to ask, over the past few years we see this trend of hiding the backing singers behind the stage and not coming out on stage. And you're not part of that trend. And being a backing vocalist yourself, what is your thought about this trend? And do you support it or not? I think that there are a lot of people who's doing it and they choose to do it. It's, it's a fine thing, you know, they, they, they have a career, uh, they're backing artists, it's fine. In my in my opinion in my uh, opportunity in my world, I think that uh, I want I, all the time. I wanted to be in the front of the stage, and I did Eurovision. I did. I wasn't a backing artist in my in my career in my life. Just doing it for 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 Eurovision because it's a great experience, and I got offered to do it one more time, so I did it. But I, all, all my life, I decided to to do it myself, to do it in the front of the stage as a singer. And you know, every, everyone does whatever he wants. If he, if they want to be in the, in the back of the stage, it's fine. I mean, that, that's what they want. Yeah. Okay, it's time for a, a bit of a quick performance, right? We ask every every artist coming to the press conference a couple lines of the song. If okay. You, would you? You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One, two. Breaking me to pieces. I want I 
like, but I'm coming from a lot of other genres and uh, I would like to, to cooperate with other, other artists in Israel, in Eurovision, uh, outside of Europe. I, I mean, the, the, this is this is celebrate diversity for me, the doing music. So I would like to do it. If you have someone who wants, yeah, let's let's do it. <laughs> okay, next, let's have let's let's have the gentleman. Get a mic. Hi. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, it, I'm from ESC Brazil, and I have a question from the fans because uh, you've been the back vocals in the last two years. So I want to ask you, who, which one of your back vocals from this year you would say would make it to the Eurovision in the future? Oh, yeah. And if any, <laughs> we, if any of you guys would be interested in it actually for the future? That, you can answer it. I'm not gonna answer it. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, my brother. You or one of you guys? Yeah. Does it work? Oh, all right. Uh, well, I uh, have been with Embry actually last year as uh, backing vocals for Holy Star, and this year I am backing vocals for Embry. And so maybe on the next yeah, the next one, who knows? Hopefully, third time is a charm. Yeah. <laughs> In Israel, we say third time ice cream, so it's like the same thing. So it's like the third time gonna happen, yeah. Lovely. Okay, yeah, let's have the next question from that Shalom, Imri, I'm Beatrix from BFR12, Eurovision Radio in France. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, you've been twice already as a backing vocalist, once with an up-tempo song, once with a ballad. When you won the uh, Rising Star in Israel, did you have in mind to come with a uh, up-tempo song or rather ballad? Yeah, because, you know, I lived Eurovision and, and yeah, of course, we have a lot of ballads, especially this year. Uh, but I, I, I thought that I want to bring the party, the party from Tel Aviv. We had such a success in uh, when, when we bring, when we brought a party, and I wanted to do it myself. So I, I, I that's what, that's what my thought that I want to bring a party, an, up, an upbeat song, and we did it. I think we we did a good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're doing a good job. Uh, do we have uh, any more questions? Well, we'll see. You still look at this uh, enthusiastic audience, huh? <laughs> you, can, you can never stop. You see, they all, they all talk about you were actually be doing uh, backing vocals. I mean, it, wasn't, it was never your job. It was actually your basically joy. Uh, you came to do uh, backing vocals for, uh, for the Eurovision. Yeah, um, I never did it, and then I got offered from from the writer of the song uh, in 2015, Doro Modalik, who wrote Golden Boy, and he said, "Do you want to come with me to the Eurovision?" And I said, "Okay, let's do it." And <laughs> and uh, we had such a success, and they offered me to do it again uh, with Hovi, the same writer and the same production. And when I wasn't with Hovi, I said, "This is where I want to be." I mean, it's such such a big thing for 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 an artist, for music, for a country, and um, and I tried and I did it. It happened. I don't know how, but I did it. Okay. So I want to say something, guys. Yeah. Uh, on Monday, we're gonna have our special tradition in uh, in the Euro Club, in the Eurovision, and we're gonna have our Israeli party as we have every year. So much fun! It's a it's a semi revision. So come Monday. Beautiful. All right. So well, I guess that's uh, that's a nice uh, uh, follow up to a press conference. Actually, inviting everyone to a party. Exactly. Well, so well, uh, if we, we don't, we actually do have a, a couple more minutes for a question. If you guys have any any questions, if not, uh, I'll be happy to thank you for uh, for being with us, for bringing uh, so many people on stage. Finally, we justify why we have such a huge stage in this conference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, it's only me and like two people, and finally, hey, so you, we have actually place for like I don't know, so many more guys in black T-shirts. So we, <laughs> you're welcome to bring. Why not? Semi final. <laughs> okay. So good luck on the semi final and hope to see you in the final. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Yeah.